Drastically improving South Korea's welfare system is a key policy pledge of the Boon administration, but one that'll come with a heavy financial price. Now, considerable tax hikes seem inevitable to bankroll the president's ambitious plans, but based on next year's government budget, welfare costs are on track to jump to a third of the entire economy by the 2060s, making Korea the biggest welfare spender in the world. Kim ji reports. Kicking the can down the road may not be a solid approach for the government when it comes to financing its welfare policies. A report by the Korea Economic Research Institute released on Wednesday shows the country's welfare expenses to GDP ratio is estimated to surpass nearly 20.5 percent by 2030, hovering above the predicted OECD average. By 2040, the ratio is estimated to exceed 27.5 percent, surpassing that of Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden, and by 2060, it could snowball to around the 34 percent level, a major leap from that of 2015, which stood at 18.5 percent. The report said it took into account variables associated with Korea's rapidly aging society, including demographic trends and rises in income, and concluded that a general tax hike to over 35 percent may be inevitable in Korea by 2060. Last month, the Moon Jae-in administration proposed a lot more than a third of its 382 billion U.S. dollar budget for 2018 to job creation and social welfare programs, a record on-year increase of 12.9 percent. The budget has sparked worries about whether a general tax hike is inevitable in the coming years, despite reassurances by the administration arguing to the contrary, citing the restructuring of government expenditures and increases in corporation tax and tax on the super-rich. Kim Tian, Arirang News.